Hey guys, my name is Matt and this is my beautiful wife, Tracy. And we just got our Stow Away 2. We are the Great Adventures. Yes, we will conquer. Friends, we like to go camping. We like to go kayaking. We like to go hiking. We like to go skiing. Show them skiing. Oh, oh, maybe a little snowboarding, a surfing. Friends, we like to travel. <laughs> and one of the problems we were having is we just didn't have enough room in our yeah. Honda Pilot. And we thought to ourselves, you know what? Let's go with this unit. We already have a Thule that goes on top, but we still didn't have enough room. No. So, and actually, we had one of those little bed things that you just slide into your tailgate. Like a cargo it? piece. Carrier. A, yeah. Like a carrier, and it was yes. flat. Yeah, and it was made of quarter inch steel and it was just, it, there was no way to protect anything from no, the elements. Yeah, yeah. We had put those bags that sit on them there, but they always leaked. Yeah, and, uh, and we, it really didn't work. It worked, but it didn't work that way. Yeah, and, we were worried about people trying to get our stuff out of the bag because there's no locking mechanism on it. Yeah. And so we did our research. Yeah, we did. We did a lot of research. We looked around and we kept coming back to this one. It was the stowaway. Two. It was a little pricey, uh, but let me tell you. Look at, look at, look at. Men, before you go looking at this, take a nitroglycerin pill. Put it under your tongue, breathe in, breathe out, make sure you're sitting. Yeah. It, but it, it really is expensive, but we, expensive. and some people could probably honestly write a check for it and not think twice about yeah. it. We had to save and save and yeah and and save and save a little more and, and save a little more and then we finally uh gathered up all the chestnuts and we were able to purchase this yeah and it, and i'm excited and it's not just a cargo carrier it has its own like little arm that goes in there and it sits on it and it swings it out. can swing out so if you so have tailgate open. if you have an suv like this normally you're gonna have to take the whole thing off this thing weighs 120 yes. pounds it's heavy it really really is heavy kid you not <laughs> kid you not I so to get he's my... gonna be the one putting it on so, there so i'm gonna uh do an unboxing show you how to put this on correctly yes. and i use the word correctly because i saw some people online and they were not doing it right. I mean, I was like, are you kidding me? You can't do that. Your stuff's gonna be on the side of the highway, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. we are the great adventure, so yeah. we would know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So but watch and find Watch, out. follow, and I, again, I am so excited of all the stuff we can do and yeah. where we can go now, because now we have the cargo capacity yeah. to do it. Woo! And so I'm gonna do an unboxing. I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna give you the pros and the cons. And listen, listen, listen. As great as this thing is, there absolutely is some cons. And it took after the fact to find out what they were. I can work around those. Some of you may not be able to get over the cons and this may not be the product for you. Stay tuned. First and foremost, listen very carefully. You will not, listen, listen, are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? You will not be able to haul this across the yard by yourself unless you have a, a pulley or a dolly. This thing is 120 pounds and it's weird shaped. And so I, for all the men out there, I had to get my young daughter to push while I pulled and we barely got it here because the FedEx guy dropped it off by the door. But hey, hey, you forgive me. Look, 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 look the other way. I am a man's man, I'm alpha male. Well, first and foremost, my first impression is it, it's very thick. I've seen some of these that they sell and they're cheap. I can just tell this is not cheap at all. You can just hit it. Oh. Beautiful. Now, what I'm guessing is I need to open this. And there it is. Everything Ooh. is neatly packed away. Let me just tell you this. I'm very, very impressed how they got everything in here. It's not loose. Sometimes you order something and it's it's kind of loose. This is not loose. Here's your uh, inspection sheet. Everything that you ordered is on here and it's check marked. It's actually signed by a real person. Love it. Okay. First thing, keys and instructions right here. Very good. Very important, I need to get the keys off. Yeah, Matt, you could go into the house, but that wouldn't be manly. Being manly is twisting them off, alpha male. Okay, so all the instructions, hey, we don't need those. <laughs> so guys, first and foremost, let me show you the lock on this. This isn't cheese. 
This is actually metal here. It's very thick. It feels sturdy. It feels very powerful. It feels intimidating if someone was coming up to it, which was a thief. What does that lock turn? It turns this quarter inch steel rod that's hooked right in the middle, left and right through these metal brackets. Yes, someone could take a sledgehammer to this, but if you're at a camping site or you're anywhere where there's people around, uh, that's not smart. That's just not going to happen. They're going to get frustrated with it. On top of it, right here is a rain channel. If rain gets in here, these little holes here, there's little holes all the rain. If some does get in this channel, it goes right on the outside, which I think is ingenious. Okay, I wish the Honda Pilot would have done a better job of that, but they, they did not. All right, so guys, let's pull these out. Cargo box exhaust shield. I ordered the exhaust shield. Let me go ahead, just tell them right now. Friends, you could save $35 and not get an exhaust shield. The exhaust shield is going to protect this portion of the back that's going to be right here. Here is my exhaust. Okay, let me see if I can get it. If you can see, that is my exhaust. And it, yes, it is kind of back, but have you ever been at red lights or in traffic for a long time? The exhaust coming out of this pipe is extremely hot. And they say to order the exhaust shield, which mounts on the frame and it protects this area here. There have been people that say $35 you were so smart, but what happened, okay? They melted this. This entire piece here was entirely melted. So I decided I'm not taking any chances. I'm gonna order the exhaust, why? Because I'm gonna keep this longer, okay, than I keep my Honda Pilot. That's how durable it is. This will be, you know, probably keep it for the next 20, 30 years. I mean, it's that well built. And I might put this on a car that has an exhaust that isn't going to the side, but straight back. And so it's smart to order the exhaust. You can do it for both sides. I just did it for the one side. And so uh, let me give you another suggestion, guys. Uh, the suggestion is don't wait for a day to put this together when it's real windy and it's 95 degrees out. That's just, just me, you know? Maybe wait till a fall, beautiful fall day. That's what I would do. All right, let's see what we have in here. We have Mmm. License plate bracket that's lit up, all your bolts and everything, all your brackets. So we're gonna need these also tie downs for the cord that hooks to your car. Here is the exhaust shield. And let me just tell you this right off the bat, this thing is sturdy. This will honestly, that's metal. This is going to protect your stowaway. It's gonna protect from all the heat, all the exhaust, okay? Whether it's five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years down the road, or whether a friend, listen to this, would this not suck? You had the thing 10 years, the novelty's worn off, you lend it to a friend, and your friend has this beater of a car, straight exhaust, and when he, when he delivers it back to you, there's a hole in it. And you're like, are you kidding me? But by that time, they're $3,000. Ah! Comes with instructions, and a lot of things that you're buying today, they just say go online. Friends, I don't want to go to my computer in, inside or look on my phone. I want paper instructions. Call me old fashioned. And again, you might be saying, Matt, how strong is that thing before I watch this video all the way through? Are you watching? What part's in there? I don't know. It doesn't matter what part's in there. What matters is this. This thing is likened unto a tank. It's equivalent to a nuclear bomb, okay? You could be in a head-on collision and your whole car is totaled, but the stowaway too, my friend. It's going to make it. Matt, what was in the box? It was just there for cushioning. Matt, what's in the big box? Let me tell you what's in the big box. Something that's really heavy is in the big box. I mean, really, really heavy. So, did I tell you I was at the gym yesterday? Yeah. Let me do some squats. Oh, feel the burn. Yeah, baby. The only reason I got this is so I could do some squats out here while my wife films me. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. <laughs> Dual. Look at this, look at this. That's my name right here under there. Dual, meaning this is the swing away one. They write it on the box. So there's no question about what you're getting. The last thing you want is them screwing up and sending you the wrong unit. No way here. I mean, they're signing it off. They're double checking it, dotting all the I's, crossing all the T's. They're doing their job. I love it. Okay. 
Here, first thing. Here, here. First thing here is a box with very, very important stuff in it. Very fragile. But because it's the stowaway too, let's see how strong it is. Let's do my Bruce Lee impression on me. Woo! It's just a padded box for uh, packaging. <laughs> and how was that Bruce Lee impression? Give me a thumbs up if you like the Bruce Lee impression, please. All right, so let's lift this up. Ooh, holy mackerel. That is seriously totally awesome. And we're gonna be smart. The smart man watches other people and he learns all oh, wisdom. The best way to put this thing together is on your car. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and just slide on over here and slide this into the two inch class three receiver, which is required for you to buy the box. Let's go over this. Two inch class three receiver. Say it with me, class. Two inch class three receiver. Any less than that, you're gonna pull, you with me? You're gonna pull your toe hitch right off the bottom. So if you're in a smaller car and you can't take a three inch or a class three receiver with a two inch, you can't buy it. <laughs> Man, I wanted one so bad. I wanted one. I know you did, son. I know you did. But listen, listen, watch my videos and my adventures on the great adventures. And guess what? You can live it out through my life. It's my gift to you. Okay, so there's one more thing in the box. Let's get our, our handy knife that we don't have. So that means that because you're a man, you'll use the end of a screwdriver or you'll use your keys. And over a lifetime, you're probably only gonna break one key. I've only broke one thus far. Oh yeah, talk dirty to me, baby. Okay, I will. Can you take a look at that? Friends, do you see how thick that is? The camera probably is not showing you how thick that is and how heavy duty this is. It is heavy duty. It's equivalent to send it to war, something that fell off a tank in the middle of battle. That's what we're talking about that's carrying your pillows and your air mattresses, maybe a cooler or a chair or two. I mean, every man needs quarter inch steel. I mean, the weight capacity of this is 120 pounds and you can put 200 pounds inside this plus what you can put on your car, plus what you can put on the roof. I mean, look at, look at, you are a tank and a lethal weapon. We gotta get serious. My wife says I'm burning up camera time. Okay, so listen, listen, let's get down to business, okay? If you made it this far through my initial presentation, um, go ahead and uh, post something and I'm gonna send you a check for a free one of these. And you're like, really, Matt? No. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you wanna do is absolutely you need to lock this thing in. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you need it. And if you need one that's locking, I'm gonna put this together and then put this in the garage. So I'm just putting this on there, but you will need this. Got it? I need it. First of all, there's two holes, depending on how close you want the unit to your car. All right, thus far, I'm only talking about this one part and it is very difficult to get in the hitch. And no, I'm not a sissy. Stop it with your sissy jokes. <laughs> I don't, it's not I knew we we're having some problems. There he is. So here's what I'm gonna suggest, that you bounce it up and down like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so let me give you a pro, a pro. Here, hey, look at me, look, look, on me, baby, on me. Look, 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 do you see me sweating? Let me give you a pro. It's really heavy. I saw a guy the other day in a town near mine and I looked at it and he must have had that thing on there and never took it off because it really is hard to get on and off. But here is the trick. So that the reason is because it's so well built. But I know if you're a man's man, you can do it. Okay, but here's what you have to do. Look, look, let me give you a trick, a sissy trick. You have to, honestly, to get it in, you have to move it up and down as you push. If you do not move it up and down as you push, it's not going in. It's a tight fit and it's like that for a reason. Now, you need to order one of these if you don't have one of these, okay? This is gonna help it from rattling because you, it's 100 pounds. And so what this does is you take this apart and this part goes here, this round piece goes over here. Does that make sense, guys? 
And so it, it fits under here like this. This is going to go here. This ledge here is going under here and it's going to secure it. So when you go over a pothole, when you go over a bump, your whole thing isn't rattling. This will hold it tight. Hey, Matt, I'm sure everyone's going to agree with me. A little less talking. Let's get to it. Make sure you got the instructions too. We don't want any freelancing and off the cuff going on here. Guys, I'm absolutely shamed. Okay, duct tape to this shamed was your pin it's not a locking pin but this will work right but you want a locking one because matt suggested it and you want to listen to matt but they actually gave you the bar how classy is that look at this this is the bar i have a different brand of this bar but this one says stowaway hitch that's what you need it's included standing and, ovation oh look it's right there in the instructions <laughs> standing over <laughs> you didn't hear her Standing ovation for Stowaway 2. Yeah! A company that stands behind what they sell and doesn't rip the man off! Yeah! Hey, my wife's making me read the instructions, guys. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do, you and I, okay? We're gonna put this on this so we can put the Stowaway on this and some other attachments like the heat shield. Is the heat shield up, Captain? It's at maximum capacity. They give you this humongous bolt. And again, friends, when you're talking about bolts, look at this. This is a huge bolt and a, another extra. Look at the very end, it's a locking. Once you get to that plastic right there, it's self-locking, meaning it's not gonna come loose when you're going down the road. I salute you, Stowaway 2, for being you. So guys, let me show you how we do this thing. It takes two people to do this. Obviously, the bolt goes through the hole, through this, right? You already know that. But in between everywhere, washer, 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 and then we're gonna put another washer right here. So you have a bolt going through a washer, going through a washer, going through this pipe, through another washer, through another washer. Now, if you are Houdini, meaning if you're Houdini and can do this by yourself, I honestly am gonna call stowaway and I personally am gonna say, listen, refund this guy's money. He is a man's man. And listen, look at, look at, I think he probably ice bathes in Alaska <laughs> in the middle of negative 40 degree weather naked. That's what kind of man we're talking about. A guy that can just jump in the ice packs, okay? And just sit there for hours. I'm not talking about this dip and go thing that you see on YouTube. I'm talking about a guy that just sits there and the penguins come and talk to him and he knows the seals by name. You need two people. Guys, <laughs> this, guys, this goes on to this and it screws here. And you're like, wow, screw it all the way up. You will not screw it all the way up because again, it has locking threads. Once you get to about there, then you're gonna have to take a big wrench to it. And you're gonna have to hold this one and this one, and you don't wanna under tighten it and over tighten it. But if it's just really snug, you're good and you can. Here's a tip and a trick from my, for my friends. A little WD-40 in here, if it's squeaking a little bit, takes away the squeak. You're like, Matt, how do you know? Oh, I watched some other guy's video. <laughs> hey guys, this is a perfect time. This is a free one, okay? Obviously your wife, if you're married, is involved in this purchase. Send her out of the room right now. I have some information for you. While you're putting it together, if you don't have enough tools, this is the time to start complaining. You know what I'm saying? Don't be too much where she knows you're faking it and wants to go to Lowe's or Home Depot or order something on Snap-on, okay? But just say, man, if I had a bigger wrench, I'm having to use a pipe wrench that's used for plumbing. I hate it. And she's gonna go, will that work? And you're like, I just don't know. I think I, I really, really have to invest in some newer tools. This is just not happening. This happens all the time. And just be kind of disgusted. She'll probably run in, get you some lemonade, and you just tighten it up real quick, okay? And when she comes out, she goes, how'd it go? I go, I, just, I barely did it, but I think it's gonna work. But tomorrow, would it be okay if I used your credit card or your debit card to go get some tools? And friends, you're, you're golden, but this is, this is the time. When you're putting together something for mama, okay? This is when, oh, oh, look at this. Oh, I wish I had better tools. Oh, my tools suck. Oh, oh, this is, oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Why, why am I have to endure such things just so I can go camping with the family? 
Why do I des I don't deserve this? Is it my lot in life more than this using crappy tools? I need newer tools, shinier tools, brighter tools, name brand tools. Tools that I just didn't pay for, that's what I need. And then, hey, if she comes out, look, 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 look. If she comes out, start grunting. What's wrong, what's wrong? I'm using crappy tools, baby, that's what's wrong, but I love you. I love you. Always throw that one in there. It's almost a guarantee. Free tools. Ooh, ooh. Sounds like it sounds like uh sounds like Rambo. It's a long road when you're coming home. Okay, you want a free one? Free one. Some of you are narcissists. You'll hate this video because I'm loose and fast, baby. Yeah! But let me just say this: you can put, okay, uh, Loctite on this. If you don't think this bolt will hold, can I guarantee something to you? The bolt will hold. It's a locking bolt. That's why they call them locking bolts, because they hold. But you could, if you wanted to, add one more layer, a precaution, and you could put some Loctite on there. But again, you're gonna need two people to do that. But don't forget, okay, to complain about your tools. It's a guarantee for more stuff. Honey, was it, was it too hard with, with this pipe wrench that wasn't the right tool? I saw how you had to struggle on that. It was awful. Maybe we can go out right after this video and get you the right tools. Honey, I think that would be the right thing because I, I scratched myself and I don't like using incorrect tools. There's a right way and a wrong way and I'm trying to follow directions like you said, baby. Is this going to work? Do you think it's, I, it's too tight? I think it's going to work, baby. I think it's going to work. I'm a happy camper now that you said I can get some new tools, baby. Yeah! Boom! All right, slide that over. Let's see if it works. It should be a little hard to push because I haven't put the WD-40 on it. Pull! It's really hard. Pull! I think maybe you over tightened it. Pull! Well, that's because I didn't have proper tools. You went cheap on me last time, baby. Pull! Oh, okay. Oh, okay, stop, stop, stop right there. Okay, grab the camera, baby. Let me show them something. Let me show them something. The pin. Okay. Let me show them why they need this. Okay, so guys, while she was moving it, serious note, while she was moving it, did you see this? Yeah, I saw that. That's, look at me, look at, that's the play that you're gonna have when you're not using one of these. I know, you're thinking, well, I'm only going an hour. Do yourself a favor, take three minutes, put this on. This keeps it from moving. There is none of this. See this, look at this. You're gonna think you're in the middle of, uh, of an earthquake. You're gonna feel like you're in the in San Andreas Fault in California, man, and the whole thing's about to crash all over into the sea because of this thing shaking. Friends, there's times to shake, but this ain't it. There's someone out there that's not gonna do it because he wants to save time because he's a man. We gotta go, honey, and we're 10 minutes late. They gave you the tool. Use it or I'll come to your house and I'll shake your world so guys, apart. I had to go in the house real quick. I told my wife I had to go to the bathroom. I grabbed a water and I just sat on the toilet for like 30 minutes looking at all the tools that my wife's gonna buy me. It was such a great experience. I mean, I was just in the moment. I could care less about this thing sitting out here. I mean, honestly, I'm like, hey, I'll get to it when I get to it. I have the promise of tools and I, I really pulled it off. Yeah, for all the men out there that have pulled this one on their wives, Kudos to you, I lift my glass. Okay, but we gotta get serious here. Look, 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 look. I have no problem normally. Have you ever been somewhere and you put your glass on the, uh, on the end table and someone freaked out and they ran over real quick and then put a coaster on it? Friends, let me just tell you this. This is rainproof, bulletproof, rockproof, fall over a, fl a flood. You could go parachuting with this and you don't even have to put this in a parachute. You can have a parachute, but when this hits the ground, it's just gonna bounce off. That's how durable this is, I kid you not. But let's go to the heat shield. Captain, is the heat shield on yet? No, but it will be. Okay, so look at, look at, look at, I love this, okay? Two pre-drilled holes. I was thinking I was gonna have to drill through this. Um, and, 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 Again, we tip off our hat to who? To stowaway. Two pre-drilled holes. Matt, how do you do it? You line up the holes. And then they have what's called self. Can you say self? Here, on me, baby. On me, baby. Okay. Self-tapping screws. But on top of the self-tapping screws, can't talk I, I, because I'm so hot. I need tools. Uh, you need what's called blue Loctite, okay? Not permanent Loctite. 
Let me just stress that. There's a, there's a version of this that's permanent. You don't want that. You want removable Loctite because in case it ever did come a little bit loose, you want to be able to you know, put more Loctite on it and screw it back down. But this is what we're gonna do. We put a little Loctite right there on the grooves. We screw that in and guess what? We're right as rain. Uh, bonus feature. You guys see that? You're like, Matt, that's a Phillips. Yeah. Okay. Did you realize that there's different bits that fit different Phillips heads? So if I use the skinny bit and when I'm torquing it down, guess what's gonna end up taking place? I'm gonna strip that screw. So if I hit any resistance at all, and I don't have the right Phillips bit, I'm gonna strip it. So again, what do you need? Tools. Okay. I I'm glad you're with me. Now, guys, can I tell you how good stowaway is? I mean, honestly, honestly, I've done this before. Not recently, because I'm an alpha male, okay? Stowaway not only gives you two screws for the heat shield, they give two more for the idiot that doesn't know what bit to use on the screw. And so when you screw it in halfway and it won't go any further, then you have to take a pair of like vice grips and you guys have all done it and you got to twist it on out of there. And then you're thinking, oh, I got the wrong bit. It's not going in. Shame on you, but hey, kudos to my good friends over at Stowe. Hey guys, here's Paint by Numbers with your host, Matt. Hi, my name's Matt. And this is our first class of Paint by Numbers. Let's start with the color blue because it makes me happy. I'll put the blue color. Where's the hole? All right, come on, I'm filming. You're gonna make me look bad. Oh my goodness, that thing does not want to go in there. I'm, I'm glad they gave me two. Okay, I gotta go real slow with this, guys. And in reality, I'm being a little stupid. I should not be using a, I should be using a regular screwdriver, but screw that. I'm going slow and low and I'm not going all the way in. And guys, when I'm talking about that thing's torquing down, I'm not kidding, this thing ain't coming up. I mean, good grief. If they had these screws on the Titanic, I think, guess what? We would have a lot more people upon the face of the earth. Gotta go slow, guys, or you're gonna, you really will torque that out. I mean, there's so much torque on this you can feel it you gotta go slow if you don't go slow if you look at look at look at look if you don't go slow that screw cannot take the torque you'll snap it off you literally will i don't know that you can do it with a regular screwdriver because it's so in there but these are self-tapping screws they're meant to be like that slow And that's on there. That's your heat shield, guys. That concludes our class by Paint by Numbers. Thank you. I hope you guys, enjoyed. I've been talking so much. We're about to get rain. I, there's a storm like right over there and it's coming. I, my phone keeps on beeping at me. I'm just like, are you kidding me? But that's okay. I can leave all this outside because the stowaway is waterproof. Okay, but the next thing they say to do. Whoa. Is that not working? Oh. Woo! Boy, slap that in. I thought that thing wasn't working. Let me tell you this, this here is tight. It would be tight if I had this piece on. Then you screw this in. This is a safety measure. Which way do I screw it? Is it going in? Okay, it's going. Yeah. So this just gives you, besides this pin, it just gives you added safety that this isn't gonna swing open until you want it to swing open. When is that? Well, if you're driving to Disneyland and it's an 18 hour trip, 30 minutes after you started, your kids are gonna be screaming, they want a juice box. Juice box is back here. It's not in the stowaway. So you're gonna have to undo this, swing open the arm at some rest stop where you're looking around because you don't want someone to attack you and your family for a juice box. And um, you're gonna get your juice box out. But here's the thing, it's great to have family. Peace. Yeah, Tracy, I've been lifting at the gym all week. And as the storm comes, let me just throw this on there because I'm alpha male. All right, let's play this one. Okay, so we did it. Okay, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna line our holes, guys. It would help if I... I did mine. Okay, okay, line the holes. Okay, so you can see there's four holes in the plastic. 
You guys see that? We're gonna put a, a rubber grommet here, a rubber grommet there, a rubber grommet there, and a rubber grommet there. And then we're gonna put a metal grommet on top of the rubber grommet. Metal grommet. Rubber grommet. Say that real fast, guys. Metal grommet, rubber grommet, metal grommet, grommet. Metal grommet, rubber grommet, metal grommet, rubber grommet. But you gotta say it real fast, like 10 times in a row. Okay, and so we have four bolts, and I'm guessing these bolts are going to go through the holes, through the holes, through the metal grommet and the rubber, say it, rubber grommet. And then what are we gonna do? Self-tapping. These are self-tapping, so those bolts, you're gonna put a washer and then one of these. That's what you're gonna do. So my wife, she's a part of it. She is on the other side, inside of the so way. Thank you, thank you. And she's holding this, the bolt. Guys, you better buy me a cup of coffee for all this. I'm not getting around because I'm trying to hold the camera and do this while a storm is coming. I am the storm. Dang it, I can't do this with it. I can't do this with one hand. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix it. I hope this fixes it. Okay, okay, sorry. Guys. I hope this fits it. Okay, I'm just screwing it up. Okay, let's go for a second one over here. Okay. No, I think I'm going straight up. Okay, oh man, they're getting such a view. Such a view of me working. Oh, they're seeing the alpha now. Now I'm just kind of tightening them up. Okay, so let's go over here. And do this. No, I'm just trying to do this. This is fairly easy. This is hard. It's just heavy. If you have help, you can do this. Simple. Simple. Alright, alright, fine. Let's move it down. Oh, look at that. Man, you're such a man. Okay. So, and then, alright, hold this one right here. Okay, so back to this one. So we are just going to tighten this one. I'm using a 15. I don't know if that's the right socket or not. Hey, tell me when you're getting close to being tight. Guys, you don't want to over tighten these because you can pull it right on through. So you, it's good to have communication. Is it getting snug? Yeah. Is it straight? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Probably there. Okay. Guys, let me show you what we did up here. All right. So I have a vi pair of vice grips holding that. These grommets, the rubber one and the metal one, tend to want to turn. So like one person's gonna have to hold the vice grips and with their other hand hold the grommet here so it can stay straight here. It's, it's, it's important because underneath here is metal and you want that as flush as it can. You don't want it right twisted. Like this one's a little bit twisted, but that's okay. Okay guys, the next step is the cord. And let me just show you this. It comes out the back. It's totally waterproof. When you're putting the cord on, you need to have the box extended because if you put the cord on with the zip ties, and they are releasable zip ties, again, another uh, tip off your hat to stow away too. Guys, if you don't have the box open, okay, you're going you're gonna to have to readjust all of these cords. So what you need to do before you put your cord on is open the box so it's likened under this and then you just tighten it up. I'm gonna put mine underneath and I think it will protect the cord a little bit more like that, maybe on the inside. And then I'm gonna put another zip tie right about here. And again, these are gonna be way, way out of the way like that. And that will make it easy for me. So guys, the storm is really coming. I had to run in for a tool, but look at, I changed clothes. Uh, modern technology. I have the same shirt because all men have like their favorite shirt and they have 10 versions of it So I'm dry again. So listen, you have to have this all the way open in order for this to, You have to have enough slack here. Okay, so I have plenty of slack But one thing you have to take into account. There's two holes here You're gonna have to figure out which hole Okay, if you want it further out, the stowaway further out, then you're gonna leave it in the first hole. But if you want it closer to your car, then you're gonna slide it to the second hole. Wherever you're going to have it, like all the time, put it there first, then adjust your cable. That's the way to do it. Also, there's a drain plug. We need to put that in. They said to do it. Let's do it. Drain plug goes right in here. And why is there a drain plug? Well, let's just say for some reason you were power washing it. Not that it rained. Remember, there's channels here. So the rain goes out this way. This thing is fully waterproof. Think manly. Could, could rain happen to get in there? Yes. Think manly. If, manly. If you tailgating. are in- Tailgating. Tailgating. Yep. Okay. If you were in an F5 tornado, 
maybe rain, a drop of rain could get in your stowaway too. Other than that, the answer is no. But think about you're using this. You can, a lot of people open these up and they sell accessories to these where you can be cooking and you can have food and you can have Cokes and drinks. And so something could actually spill in here. You want to rinse it out. That's why you need a drain plug. And again, this drain plug has ridges all the way around it. And so it is downright difficult. I mean, it's, it's hard to get in, but the reason it's hard to get in is it has ridges going all the way down and it's made of rubber. So it's holding to that molded uh, plastic. This reminds me, now here's the thing. I have a Truly Topper. The Truly Topper was uh, very expensive. We'd had it for a while, but this is probably, listen very carefully so you can get an idea, three times of the thickness of my Truly Topper. And it is, it's one of the number one toppers, it's new. But this is three times as thick. This would remind you, oh my goodness. I, I mean, I don't, I think you could take a sledgehammer probably to this and be fine. That's what you could do. I mean, it is really that thick. And um, I'm very, very impressed with it. We need to put the license plate bracket on. And one of the things, guys, can I just tell you this? Tell you, tell you, tell you, tell you. See these? These are LED lights. This is an add-on right here, okay? It's, the add-on is like $15. Go and get the regular bulbs. You get that for free. Spend the 15, 18, 20 dollars, whatever it is. Who cares what it is? Get the nice LED lights because they're gonna last you for the length of the, what, the stowaway, okay? But the regular bulbs that they used to sell in trailers and stuff, those things burn out after a year and a half and sometimes they get wet. These they're just basically bulletproof and so i upgraded and got these lights i think I, I can't remember the price i don't think it was more than 25 dollars. so guys here's the thing they're asking me to drill into this and the reason they're doing that is i'm putting a lighted license plate bracket on they have dimples here so they're guiding you exactly where to drill you need a 3 16 bit for these two but the reason they're asking you to drill it is some people don't want the license plate bracket on there i do and I, here's the thing, I, look at, look at, look at, I'm drilling into this, are you kidding me? Um, and so I double check this, and this lines up perfectly with the dimples. And there's two dimples right here, so we're just gonna do what they said. Hey guys, I guess there's always duct tape if I screwed it up. <laughs> All right, let's do that. And that's it. And then these screws should perfectly go through them and they do. Guys, they're asking me to use a 5 16 okay, for the center hole. That's to put the two wires through. Now I'm gonna actually start with a quarter inch. I think honestly, I can get these two wires if I put one in at a time with a quarter inch versus this 3 16 I'm rushing, look behind me. Look into the trees. Look up there. Oh my god. That's a big storm. That's, all right, right here, Tracy. Here we go. We're going to go with a quarter. Let's go with a quarter at first. Let's see if I can't put these through and I might they might be right. No, I think I'm right. I think I'm right. Who's right? Are they right or I'm right? Are they right or am I right? Oh! Oh, who's your daddy, baby? Okay, so I used a quarter, and back up a little baby, because uh, I mean, I, I don't want them, you know, kind of lusting after the maleness here. Um, I used a quarter and it fit perfectly. I had to put one through at a time. You could go a little bigger. It, I don't know, it's up to you. They say to go 3 16 I went with a quarter. I would rather have that a little bit smaller just so there's just guaranteed and i'm going to put a little silicone right there just to make sure there's no water getting in my baby loser ah, just kidding that's right okay so look at look, look we have these two screws here and we're going to put these bolts on the other side we're going to start slow remember because i'm using a power drill you always want to go slow especially with plastic guys i'm going to hold that there kind of and then i'm going to stop and kind of screw that on a little bit come on baby you know you love me, baby. Yeah, and I'm gonna tighten that up. And I tell you what, let me screw this one in. Two I'm gonna do. Guys, I tell you what I'm gonna do. They don't ask you to do this, but here's the thing. I'd rather do it than not do it around here. I have Loctite and I'm going to use some. 
here's the thing. We're going to put, let me show you what I'm going to do. I don't want that coming off. They didn't say you had to do this, or maybe they did. Look, let's just put a little Loctite, a little blue. Let's paint by numbers. I'll get the extra off there. That's going to make sure these aren't self-locking. Okay, that's going to make sure these stay on there and they don't fall apart. Well, you know, because if you if you're going for any distance, if you're going on a vacation, you have to take your license license plate bracket off of your car because this covers it and put it on here. That's one of the hassles. I wish they would have came up here, 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 here. One of the cons is you have to do that. I wish they would have come up with a way to switch it somehow. Somehow come up with some mechanism where I can take my license plate bracket off very easily, but only me with some kind of locking mechanism, slap it on here within 30 seconds, but I can't. I gotta take four screws out of the car, put them back in here. It's a little hassle, but again, we're not going on vacation every week. Well, some of you are, and if you are, invite me. All right, so we are tightening this up, and we're just gonna do this holding the other side to make sure it doesn't spin and you know it's going to spin right because that's my kind of day storms coming i'm using no tools at all rats okay and again this is plastic or composite uh just a good snug fit i don't need it to you know hold up a bridge or anything it's holding a license plate bracket and that's tight that's real tight right there and guys here's where we go you got it you got two wires here Got two wires here. I'm guessing white goes with white. Brown goes with, no. Yeah, white with white and then brown and black. And one of the things I noticed that they did, guys, listen, 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 a lot of people don't do this. In all of their attachments, you're gonna notice like a Vaseline. What that does, it keeps it from corroding in the, in the one that hooks, come here, down here. Check this, can you see me over here? Try some over here. This that hooks up, it's a four point, that hooks up to your car. Obviously you better have this wired, okay? They put Vaseline on there. And the reason they did that is it keeps it from corroding. It's, it's genius. It's just one extra step. And so this company is actually top notch. Guys, the moment of truth. I'm gonna start the car and see if the LED lights come on. And if, if not, it's not the stowaway, it's my wiring. So let's check that out. Drum roll, please, Tracy. <laughs> Oh, they came on when he started the car. They come on? Yeah, yeah, they did. Left? Yep. Right? Yep. Left? Uh huh. Right? Yep. I just, I'm gonna put reverse. I don't know if there's reverse lights or not. Put on the brake. Yep, there's the brake. Is there a reverse light or no? No. There is? No. Okay, but there's a brake light, right? There's a brake light, yeah. It gets brighter. Tell me when to brake, just to show if this isn't fake. Brake. Say break. Say break. <laughs> <laughs> now, guys, there are a few cons, and my husband's going to go over that real quick. So, guys, let me tell you one of the cons. We have a Honda Pilot here. I was looking. I have a 3,500-pound towing capacity. If I get uh, the oil, transmission oil cooler, that goes up to 5,000 pounds. What you have to realize is this is not, look at, look at, look at, you can put 200 pounds in this, you really can, but if you're putting heavy stuff in here and heavy stuff in here and you're in a mid-size SUV, you're going to bottom out, meaning you're going to notice your car in the back is leaning. The key to using the stowaway, put the heavy stuff in the back of your car, because why? It's over the wheelbase. Put the lighter things in here. This even... Even the company suggests doing this. Uh, yeah, I can put chairs in here. I can put all kinds of stuff in here. I'm going to put chairs. I'm going to put air mattresses. I'm going to put kayaks. I'm going to put blankets and sleeping bags and pillows and those kind of things. I'm not going to be loading this up and going over capacity. Already, I have 100 pounds with this and the, and the frame, okay, sitting over those back wheels. So this is just being smart. Can you? It can handle it, it can handle it, but you might notice if you load the back of your car and you load this to capacity, you might notice the back of your car maybe, okay, depending on your suspension, depending on the springs, kind of kind of low riding a little bit. I don't like to go anywhere where I'm low riding, so I've already done my research ahead of time, and what I need this for is bulk items. It's it's the stuff, I go kayaking, so I'm gonna put uh, my vest in there, I'm gonna put the kayak chairs because they're made of foam, I'm gonna put blankets, I'm gonna put air mattresses and pillows and those kind of things, stuffed animals.
And not that I have a stuffed animal when we go camping, but I mean, here's the thing. If, what, what if my pillow failed me and I needed a stuffed animal to put behind my neck? I'm still the alpha male. But guys, out of 10, watch this, and I'm not gonna ever lie to you. Out of 10, out of 10, I literally would give this about a nine and a half because it's just flawless. It's maybe a 9.8. It really is a great investment. And you have to realize this, you're gonna have this longer than you're gonna have your car by years. This will outlast your lease. This will outlast five years of a car because we drive them for four or five years, they start to break down. We go to the dealership, they, they quote us a price to fix our car, but we can get you out of that car and get you into the newest and latest and brightest and shiniest for the low, low price of. And so this will, out, this will probably last, honestly, four cars of your life. So you can keep this 10, 15, 20, 25 years. It's made that strong. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And here's the thing, go out and adventure, my friends. You gonna give me a thumbs up? I beat the storm. I mean, my phones have been going off for 30 minutes. I looked danger in the eyes and fear in the eyes. And I said, hey, I'm partying with the stowaway too. No way, no how. I'm getting this job done. Guys, included in your purchase is a ginormous box that the stowaway comes in. And stowaway too doesn't supply the s'mores, the chocolate, or the marshmallows, or the graham crackers. But they do supply the box. And so, I think... Stowaway too, for giving me a box to, to you know, to roast s'mores over. It's Kudos to you. Okay, one more side note, okay guys? Love the stowaway, absolutely love it, but there's a little feature that some of you may not be able to use. Some of you have rear view cameras in the back and they're very handy when you can use them, right? Ours is like right by our license plate, so we cannot use it now. So we're gonna have to go back to something that maybe you've never used before. That's called these side mirrors here. And what you have to do is actually look in this mirror here and look in your other mirror way over there. And then maybe even check your rear view mirror to see if you can see anything in your rear view mirror. Because all you're gonna see back here, let me show you, when you put on your reverse, is your stowaway. <laughs> you can see a little bit here and there. Well, guys, here's the thing. <laughs> Let me just really say this. When you're, when you're investing that much, yeah. every time you put it in reverse, you're going to be just so grateful that you have the stowaway. You get to get a backwards glance. Yeah, and if you have a D, what about a DMV recertification <laughs> test? You're going to be, because sometimes they won't let you use the you rear, rear view, view camera. camera. No, and so now yeah. you are training. Every time you go on yeah. vacation, it's like training or or say or or there's a stowaway doesn't sell it i don't think but there is a camera that would mount on the back of the stowaway it's it's an oh. aftermarket accessory some people if they're if they can't live without their camera and they but again well and i can see the, the advantage of it because you can see exactly how close you can get to something and if not you're just gonna have to get someone get out and give you instructions back there yeah. give me some directions and guys some of the cameras it just depends on the vehicle the camera is up here so it's not big ours is right there but again hey hit the lights let me sh let me show them the lights left right left light left signal right and that's sweet put hey put the lights back on put the, hey hit your brake lights oh is that sweet here yeah look at that no keep the lights on keep the lights on are they on? Here, hit the brake lights. Guys, look at that. Is that not insanely cool? Those are the LED upgraded lights. Buy them. It, look, at $25, you can go out and get Burger King for $25. You get Wendy's or Chick-fil-A. Ah, Chick-fil-A. You can get Chick-fil-A. Buy the upgraded light. Do yourself a favor. Get the heat guard. Enjoy your life. Enjoy all the adventures. Life is good. And let's say goodbye to Miss Tracy from The Great Adventures. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Hope this helped you guys.